Did you know that there are only 14 possible calendars? I mean, if you think about it, it makes sense, right? So let's say you have January 1st starting on a Sunday. Then you have January 1st starting on a Monday, and then a Tuesday, and then a Wednesday. And you go through all the days of the week, you know, that's seven. And then you have to account for the possibility that it's a leap year. So multiply that by two. That means that you can reuse calendars a lot more often than you might have thought. Welcome to Surge Media, and today I'm going to show you how and when to reuse calendars more efficiently than last time. So if you didn't know, back in early 2020 I made a video about reusing calendars, and although I think it was an okay video, I feel like I went on a lot longer than I needed to, so this is going to be kind of like that video, but a lot shorter and condensed and easier to understand. Basically everything you need to know about reusing your calendar is right here on my screen. So for example, if you have a year that takes place in 2021, which is three years from a leap year, that means that the most recent calendar that you could have reused was 11 years ago in 2010, and the most recent calendar that you will be able to reuse is in 2027. Now everything you see on the screen is basically self-explanatory, although I might need to explain the four years until the next leap year. Also this right here says 23, in reality it's only six. I somehow didn't realize that when I was editing this video. I did make this comment down here, but um, it is supposed to be six. But uh, well, I explain it right here. The leap year doesn't actually occur every four years. Um, it occurs every four years, unless if that year is divisible by 100. So every 100 years, um, you will have a year divisible by four that is not a leap year. However, of course, that doesn't apply if that year is divisible by 400. So every 400 years, you're going to have a year that's divisible by 100 and four, but is still a leap year. So keep that in mind. As you can see on the screen here, I also have a bunch of different examples relevant to relative current times. So for example, in the year 2022, our next reusable calendar will be in the year 2033, and our most previous reusable calendar was in the year 2011, because 2022 is two years away from a leap year. So you subtract 11 and you add 11. Hopefully I was able to show some cool fact that you may have not have known about, and this video is going to be a lot shorter and a lot easier to understand, which is great. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch the original, I'll have it in the description, but otherwise, take care.